Can I get you something? You're going into danger. Anything I can get you? <laughs> oh, finally. Briggs is going to let me kick these disciples. I've been telling him to let his best man loose for weeks. So thank you for changing his mind. You better believe it. Both of us worked for that hellhole Xenofresh way back. I was a casualty of a reduction in force. But Paul Briggs's leg got crushed in an accident. So Xenofresh, being the class act they are, they fired him and later even sued him. So it was him and I on the streets. I helped him through rehab. The Ebside Strikers sort of grew around us. You better believe it. The plan's simple. We hit the street runners hard in as many points as possible. Maximum chaos, right? Then Andrea can waltz into their weapons, cash, snag the big guns, <laughs> and then the real fun begins. Good talk. The disciples are gonna pay for all they've done. You're going into danger. Here's what I have. Be careful. Be smart out there. Pull up a jam and have a drink. Making a purchase today? I don't want you to get upset. But Administrator Bay, you came by while you were out. I arrived in Neon almost, uh, what, 20 years ago? I had gotten a job at Xenofresh through a friend and started working on the loading docks. After a few years, they moved me up to Kazimbass Processing, and that's where I met Rosa for the first time. She was my supervisor, but we hit it off right away. It wasn't long before we decided to quit Sino Fresh, get married, and start our own business. We've been in love ever since. I'd say the majority of the guards are rotten, and the few who aren't simply take a paycheck and look the other way. They have Neon completely under their control. The Freestar Collective's own security doesn't even maintain a presence here. If it wasn't for the Freestar Rangers outpost, there wouldn't be a shred of justice in this entire city. Oh, okay, yeah. 
That'd be extremely helpful. I honestly don't know what to say. Fair enough. Just be careful when you're dealing with Sigurd. He can be surprisingly unreasonable when he's cornered. The first time I brought up the subject, we got into a huge argument. Sigurd said he had every intention of paying Neon security and that it was final. After that, I tried to speak to him a few times, but he's always been too busy to spend the time to sit down and have a decent conversation. It's obvious he has no intentions of talking to me anymore. I honestly don't know what I did to make him so angry with me. Tell everyone you know about our store. Welcome to Newell's. Let me know if you need help with anything. We're a general goods store, so we carry all sorts of materials you can use to outfit yourself for galactic exploration. Oh my, do I? That's awful. I should be taking better care of my customers. You'll have to excuse me. With all the ruckus my husband's been making at the Merchant Alliance meetings, it's difficult to get any rest. Poor old man has himself mixed up in a foolish crusade against Dietrich Sieghart, who he's angry at for paying off Neon Security. It's a little group James formed, with some of the other vendors on Neon. I'd call it more of a support group, because all they do is sit around and complain about how hard it is to run a business here. For protection, I assume. They apparently target certain businesses with some type of safety assurance fee scheme. We've been spared that indignity so far, but it's absolutely disgraceful this kind of thing is happening. He runs Sieghart's Outfitters. It's right outside the spaceport terminal. I suppose you could say he's our only real competition. If you ask me, he isn't such a terrible person. Please don't tell James I said that. I don't believe he is, no. I think my husband has Dietrich all wrong. He's probably doing what he has to do to survive. Just, um, please don't tell James I said that. I don't want him to think his own wife is doubting him. I have no idea. Anytime this subject comes up, it turns into an argument. Frankly, he's so obsessed with this Dietrich situation, I don't think he's listening to me at all. It's just a feeling that I have about Dietrich. I'm sure he's paying off Neon Security because he has no choice. He can't afford to fight back like my husband expects. Thank you for stopping by. I had to chase me. We're fully stocked and ready to sell. Thanks for stopping by our shop. Don't see, come on in, please, have a good look around. I've been at this location for the last eight years, but I've had a business in Neon for almost 20. As soon as Ryujin broke ground on the tower, I knew the city would start swarming with people, so I went all in. I love this business, it's my life. I can't imagine doing anything else.
Yes, I'm aware of James's objections. That's partly why I don't go to the meetings. But if I don't pay Dexler, I'll lose my business. And what good would joining the Alliance do then? So, really, I don't have a choice here. If they want to fight Neon Security, they can. But I need to protect my livelihood. It's fine in theory, but this isn't New Atlantis. It's Neon. Corruption is an institution here. What can a single alliance do to stop what's built into the Foundation? I don't want to seem like a defeatist, but frankly, it feels like a waste of time. Oven Dexler is head of Neon Security. But he is less concerned with crime than he is siphoning money from honest businesses. But it's not just him. All of Neon is corrupt. The only way to survive is to give in to their demands. Easy for him to say, he doesn't have my debts. If I don't pay Dexler, I might lose my inventory. And if I lose my inventory, I'll lose my store. And why is that? I think we can work something out. Okay, you've convinced me. I will stop paying Dexler his safety assurance fee. And tell the Newells I will come to the next meeting. Maybe I will even bring some beverages and snacks. You can't stand up to Neon Security on an empty stomach. Say hello to my wife, Rosa. Well, I'll be. And all you had to do was... talk to him? Meanwhile, I was so damn stubborn, I made this whole thing harder than it had to be. Given you almost went blind, working with half a kilo of fish cuts in your eye. Yeah, I'd agree. And I'd still be wandering around that storage vat helpless, if not for you. Thanks for your help on this. The Merchants' Alliance is finally united. I don't know if we'll ever get a fair shake in the city, but it's a start. Appreciate the help. Hopefully... Oh, dear lord. Did Briggs put you up to this? All these gangs are a menace. I don't want to have any part of it. Because they're bottom-feeding parasites. They steal and murder and security couldn't care less. Us businessmen have to draw a line somewhere, and this is mine. They are definitely the lesser evil. All right, already, all right. You pay and I'll send Briggs his armor. But this is a one-time deal. I don't want anything to do with this madness after that. I'll send the armor to Madame Savage's. Have a nice day.
dreaming of this. <sighs> I've been telling him. You better. The plan's simple. Then Andrea. My job is to keep track of all the latest trends. I'm from Bartimaeus. No promises. The till's running empty. So if I happen to see some marks on the way, then the fishies better pay up. Know what I mean? It'll work, all right? Here's three groups of street rats for you. Me and my boys will take some others. Fun time. What can I get you today? No customer. Oh. If you'll buy... Finally, someone who listens. So, what can Madam so? Do you want information? Go read a book. It's nothing less than heaven in a glass. A tout à l'heure. Strikers, darling. Yeah, we had those blighters all tied up until you came along. The name's Holt, and I'm here to offer you a deal. I'll let that slide. The Strikers are old news. Positively analog. You help us take out their so-called leaders, and the disciples can pay big. Credits, yeah? A dumpster full of them. Literally, if that's your thing. And you give a damned about that why? This ain't your fight, pal. Ebside's always been about survival of the fittest. As long as the tourists stay away, no one cares what happens. In order to keep a rat in place, you gotta scare it, terrify it. And if it happens to be good for a laugh, well, that's a bonus, right? And it's time to die, asshole. Strolling into Disciple Turf. You're making this too easy. A 
Yeah, right. Why should I believe you? Enough of all the damn had a feeling. You Got the guns, new fish. Went in, pop, 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 and the cash is ours. And that's thanks to me and my new best mate. <laughs> Hit any problems on your patrol? Hell, at first I thought you were some dumb thrill seeker. But you're, well, pretty awesome. Everything's going according to plan, Briggs. Good. Now we hit them where it hurts. This warehouse is one of their main strongholds. Not going to lie. Taking it is going to be hard. Newfish, we wouldn't be here without you. What's the play? Going guns blazing? We hold back? You'll be drawing a lot of heat, but if you think you can handle it, works for me. You heard the plan. Let's do it. <laughs> 